Hey everybody, how's it going? So today is uh, December December 9th. It's a Thursday. I picked these items up on December 8th, which was a Wednesday, which was yesterday. So please stick around, check out the video, and I will see you guys there. Some tape, and we got some holiday um, deals on some breaker bar, ratcheting breaker bars. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. what is up everybody how's it going and welcome back to the channel before we get started please like comment subscribe and smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates all right so these are the husky 24 inch long ratcheting breaker bars these are all half inch these guys are 24 dollars a piece um 24 dollars and 97 cents a piece um I picked these up in December. Like I said, uh, I picked these up yesterday, which was December 8th, um, Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. Today is December 9th, Thursday, 2021. Um, I also picked up a bunch of other shit, uh, uh, excuse me, stuff. <laughs> I picked up two Husky um, half inch uh, torque wrenches. And I picked up some other, you know, I picked up some hole saws, I picked up some bit kits. Here's another bit kit I picked up um, from DeWalt. But, um, so it was $74.91 for these three breaker bars. One of these is going in the toolbox, and one, uh, and the other two are going in two different vehicles. And the reason being is, here's an exit, here's a, Here's the ratcheting breaker bar that you get. Um, that is a flex head, and these are flex um, head as well. Same style flex head. Um, I've never had any issues with this. This is the Pittsburgh Pro from Harbor Freight. Um, it, this works extremely well. I've never had any issues with it. Um, it's just short. Um, these things are, this is a half inch. Half inch is uh, usually longer than 18 inches. This Pittsburgh Pro is just 18 inches. So it is, there's no issues with the mechanism or anything. Um, I've actually had to put a breaker bar on this. Uh, or I actually not a breaker bar, but I had to put a cheater pipe on this and this little 18 inch and I put a uh, 52 inch pipe on it and broke a bolt that was, uh, it was a 21 bolt a Millimeter bolt that was somewhere around four or five hundred foot pounds never had any issues with it It's just short these huskies are 24 inches and I mean kind of just put it next to that one right there uh, there. you can see it is quite quite a bit shorter I don't know why it keeps moving but it's a lot shorter um, that's why I picked these up so this one stays in the toolbox one of these long ones is gonna go um, in the toolbox and then one of each of these is going to go into um, one's gonna go in rows one's gonna go in beast and same tilt mechanism let's get these open real quick Okay. There we go. 
So pop this one off. This is part number 1006197896. It's kind of hard to see it, but it does have the husky wolf emblem right there. It does The tent is a little bit a little bit sloppier on this on the huskies, but the left and right selector is definitely a lot bigger, does have more knurling, feels a lot nicer. Put it in the middle um, so it doesn't ratchet. But it is definitely a lot longer. Um, does feel Pretty nice in the hand. Like I said, I've never had any issues with the Pittsburgh. Um, just it's short. Um, Pittsburgh is chrome vanadium. It does feel like the detents on the Pittsburgh are a little bit better all the way through both sides. Um, compared to this one right here where it feels kind of sloppy. It's, it's so two to the right feels fine, but when you go from here to center, it feels kind of kind of loose. Um, kind of loose. So the first click to the left or the first click to the right, it feels very loose. Um, but when you get to the last two, it feels fine. And I think that's because these two are solid notches, but these three are not. You can see they're just little bitty slivers. I'm sure if I cut a little bit further into these, make these grooves a little bit deeper, it'd probably detent a little better. But And these are all pretty easy to get the heads off. It's just a little... Pop the little rivets out. Oop. That's it. then you slide up and you pull it out that's it it's removed they're all the same part number okay so this one is a lot better so this one two three three two three so this one's a lot better. The grooves on this one all the way through are really, really deep. So in order to fix this one, I just have to grind those grooves a little bit deeper, um, which is not an issue. This guy right here, pop the little cover off. And that that's just painter's tape that I got from Home Depot. It is contractor grade, which is why it's tan. I need it for automotive stuff, so. Painter's tape is painter's tape. Doesn't really matter what color. This one's the same. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So the detents on both of these are great. So what I'm gonna do is these two are gonna go in a vehicle, the one with the messed up detents, um, that the detents aren't very um, deep on this one. I'm gonna leave this one in the toolbox so that way it reminds me to fix it later. But all of them, they all sound good. I tested this in the store. They all sound great um, when it comes to the ratcheting. Um, but you can tell 
The head on this one, on the Pittsburgh, is a little bit smaller as well. Let me bring you guys in a little bit further. Let me turn this light on so you guys can see. So this is the Pittsburgh right here. And this large one, this one right here is the Husky. You can actually see the head is a little bit smaller. There you go. So this one right here on the right is the Pittsburgh. This one on the left is the Husky. The diameter of the head is definitely a lot bigger. So um, I've never had any issues with the Pittsburgh. Like I said, I've, I've I pulled bolts off that were 200, 400, 500 plus foot pounds um, with this Pittsburgh. And that, you know, you can see it's a lot shorter. It's, it's six inches shorter. Um, that six inches could be, you know, the make or break of whether you need a, uh, an extension or, you know, a cheater bar. Um, six inches is a lot on a handle when it comes to your hands. Um, but never had any issues with these. I have several of these. They hold up just fine. Um, but the price on the Husky for $24, it's kind of un uh unbeatable because the price of these Pittsburghs are about $24 also but they're a they're six inches shorter um, so if you're pricing it per inch of the bar you're saving money with the Husky um, and then this is just right here is just painters tape um, these were $17 a roll and it, um, the sad thing is is the the contractor grade tape in this pack, this nine pack was thirty, uh, seventeen dollars a roll. But if you got the Scotch Blue nine pack, three M nine pack, that was thirty four dollars a roll. So it would have been sixty eight dollars if I would have bought two of these in the Scotch Blue from Home Depot. Why the Scotch Blue is more uh, is way more expensive than the Scotch um, Contractor Grade, I have no idea. It's just a different color. Um, but 17 and 17, not bad. It's 541 yards per roll, so we got um, 1,082 yards right here. Um, it's nine roll count, um, and they are. 0.94 inches thick, so a little bit over, over three quarter inch thick per roll um, in the width. Um, that is all I got for you guys today. You know, the the, the Pittsburgh has never let me down. Um, I, I'm not gonna say that don't buy the Pittsburgh. It's just during the holidays, the Huskies being six inches longer. Um, now here's another Pittsburgh. Here's the 3 8 Pittsburgh Pro. Have not had any issue, but they're all they're all short. Now they're all 18 inches long. Um, I even have the three quarter here as well. Here's the three quarter. Oh, this is a Carlisle. Ah, here it is. This is the Pittsburgh right here. Pittsburgh Pro. Here's the three quarter. Um, this is just the non ratcheting. This is just the three quarter breaker bar. And the three quarter breaker bar is actually bigger. It's actually longer. Um, but, and this one has the, the adjustable collar on it. Here is the Carlisle version. Let me put these back though.
I do appreciate you guys watching, checking out the video. Um, everything that was bought in this was $119.30. So 110.67 and plus 8.63 in tax. Uh, sorry, I wasn't talking there for a second. Um, Scotch 0.94 masking tape. They call this one masking tape. That might be why. Um, strong adhesive, three-day clean removal. Vinyl, carpet, metal, plastic. The Scotch blue. Um, they call painters tape. So maybe. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's why this one's cheaper because they call it masking tape or the scotch blue they call painter's tape. So it's worth more when it's considered painter's tape. I don't know. That's all I got for you guys today. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, <coughs> checking out the video as always. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. You guys have a safe holiday. Um, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I will see you guys on the next video. Remember, sometimes you can get something better from somewhere else than going to Harbor Freight. Um, I'm not saying the Harbor Freight um, breaker bar, ratcheting breaker bars are bad. They're actually great. But holiday season, when Home Depot um, brings in the Husky deals, it's hard to beat $24 per for these breaker bars. It just really is hard to beat um, for the price um, and the length. Um, you know, especially the same price you go to Harbor Freight you get six inches less just remember that guys sometimes Harbor Freight isn't the best place to go um, But appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys on the next one peace